Today's flyover was part of the Air Force Academy's virtual graduation ceremony. Vice President Mike Pence was today's commencement speaker. The graduation was likely one of the largest gatherings since those stay-at-home orders went into place. The cadets had to maintain social distancing guidelines by staying six feet away from each other, and their friends and family weren't allowed to attend. Allison Zimmerman shows us how the ceremony will likely go down as one of the most memorable in the Academy's history. It, it's, it's a little surreal. Graduation is typically a time to mark the last. Last time with classmates, professors, and schoolwork. Uh, it's been a long journey. It's but during times everyone is navigating with unfamiliarity, it's the first the Academy put on display. Let me tell you, this is an awesome sight. Vice President Mike Pence spoke to a field of nearly a thousand cadets in the first ever virtual graduation without their families capturing this milestone in their lives. Well, it wasn't what we expected, obviously. Families like Noah Wallace Smith's. We were just incredibly proud during this entire thing. Who watched from home in Pueblo, decked out in matching shirts to honor him. He was young, I can't remember how old. He wanted to go to the Air Force Academy. A member of the Academy's a cappella group and triathlon team, Smith plans to attend med school in Maryland. A first his family is looking forward to, seeing him for the first time as an Air Force officer. I him a big congratulations. I don't know how I'm not going to see him and cry. Air Force leaders noting the history coming from 2020's class, as it includes the first graduates, about 90 of them, to join the newly created old. Space Force. You will build this service from the ground up. You will help define our warfighting culture. But through the milestones of first and last, Getting this milestone alone is something graduates aren't taking for granted. Oh, you know, just having anything at all was awesome. And I think we're all super appreciative of everyone that put in the work to do that. In Colorado Springs, Allison Zimmerman, Denver 7.